I think the movie Ghostbusters perfectly encapsulated the mindset of the people who work for the government. Personally, I like the university. They gave us money and facilities. We didn't have to produce anything. You've never been out of college. You don't know what it's like out there. I've worked in the private sector. They expect results. A statement from President Donald J. Trump. Look, I know I'm deviating from what's going on here in Australia, but this is very exciting news. I know you're probably also just exhausted from hearing about the US election. But as we go through this, I want to show you why you should be rooting for this to succeed. This could be one of the greatest changes that we see that happens over in America that could potentially work its way to us and it will definitely benefit us. I am pleased to announce that the great Elon Musk, working in conjunction with American patriot Vivek Ramaswamy, will lead the Department of Government Efficiency, also known as Doge. He did it. <laughs> he actually did it. How can you not love living in this timeline? I'm going to be more white-pilled from here on out. I was too black-pilled in the lead-up, but here we go. Let's go Doge. Together, these two wonderful Americans will pave the way for my administration to dismantle government bureaucracy slash excess regulation, cut wasteful expenditures and restructure federal agencies essential to the Save America movement. This will send shockwaves through the system and anyone involved in government waste, which is a lot of people, stated Mr. Musk. <sighs> straight, straight to my heart. It's so warm. This is what, this is what we want. These parasites that exist in government that steal your money. Their days are numbered. And I'm glad Vivek Ramaswamy is part of it. He gets it. Just by a simple post after this news was released. Afuera. Doge will soon begin crowdsourcing examples of government waste, fraud and abuse. Americans voted for drastic government reform. They deserve to be part of fixing it. Can you just imagine Matty Gang right here in Australia that if we got our own version of the Doge, how we could tell the leader of Doge about the wasteful expenditures of the ABC? About the $30 billion that we spend each year on Indigenous affairs that seemingly goes nowhere other than to a few bureaucrats' pockets. Can you imagine if there was somebody like Elon and Vivek Ramaswamy here to come in and go, um, $30 billion with nothing to show for it? What's going on exactly? Now, I've always been a fan of Vivek, even back in videos from way earlier this year when I was doing the Apprentice series, the lead-up on who was going to be the actual Republican nominee I called it The Apprentice because I was just saying that these people were vying for Donald Trump's uh, vice presidency spot. But how good was Vivek during those debates? And frankly, look, the people there are cheering for losing in the Republican Party. Think about who's moderating this debate. This should be Tucker Carlson, Joe Rogan, and Elon Musk. We'd have 10 times the viewership asking questions that GOP primary voters actually care about and bringing more people into our party. You think the Democrats, and we've got Christian Welker here, you think the Democrats would actually hire Greg Gutfeld to host a Democratic debate? They wouldn't do it. And so the fact of the matter is, I mean, Christian, I'm going to use this time because this is actually about you and the media and the corrupt media establishment. Ask you the Trump-Russia collusion hoax that you pushed on this network for years. Was that real or was that Hillary Clinton made up disinformation? Answer the question. Go. Mr. Ross. because this media rigged the 2016 election. They rigged the 2020 election with a Hunter Biden laptop story. And they're going to rig your, this election. Your time is up. Accountability. Let me turn to Can you imagine the attack dog within those agencies, those bureaucrats having to answer to him? And can you just imagine 
just imagine it if we had somebody like Vivek here attacking the ABC about all of their wasteful expenditures. Man, Ooh, it gets me excited. Uh, a couple of more memes, but uh, this one I think is brilliant. What would you say you do here? Well, look, I already told you. I deal with the goddamn customers so the engineers don't have to. I have people skills. I am good at dealing with people. Can't you understand that? What the hell is wrong with you people? I... You're fired. Get out of here. Yes, yes, so much yes. And I love that he's trolling off the back of this announcement. This trolling is sending a message to all those parasitic bureaucrats. Imagine getting this, e this email from Elon. What did you get done last week? Man, you can tell they are freaking out. I look forward to Elon and Vivek making changes to the federal bureaucracy with an eye on efficiency and at the same time making life better for all Americans. Importantly, we will drive out the massive waste and fraud which exists throughout our annual $6.5 trillion of government spending. They're in a they're in a bad way over there when it comes to their debt too. Like every single day, the interest alone is going up in billions. So this is so sorely needed. They will work together to liberate our economy and make the US government accountable to we the people. Their work will conclude no later than July 4th, 2026. A smaller government with more efficiency and less bureaucracy will be perfect gift to the American, uh, excuse me, will be the perfect gift to the America, will be the perfect gift to America. Sorry, that's my dyslexia kicking in. On the 250th anniversary of the Declaration of Independence, I am confident they will succeed. Look, I get the irony here as somebody who wants to eradicate so much bureaucracy and part of the government that he's had to create a new bureaucracy in order to do this. I get it. But if he can start doing, Elon specifically, if he can do what he did with X, don't forget when he got in there, he ended up firing like 80% of the people that were working there because they were just do-nothings. You've seen those videos, right? I'm sure you have where the, where the, uh, the 20 something females like, oh, so I got up at like 10, then I did some yoga and then I got a coffee and I, I rocked up to the office around 11 o'clock and then I went to the crying room and then I got another coffee. Then I went up onto the roof where we did um, Kundalini yoga and then I had a meeting and then I went home because I was exhausted. Total waste of money. He eradicated 80% of the staff. The site works fine, totally fine, and he keeps adding on to it. So this part I found interesting. Uh, we'll drive out the massive waste and fraud. So how about we just go through some of this waste, shall we? Gin to a sunfish versus tequila, which would make the sunfish more aggressive? Nearly a million dollars spent studying whether or not Japanese quail, if you give them cocaine, whether or not they're more sexually promiscuous. Was it one small step for man or was it one small step for a man? And in the end, $750,000 later, they couldn't decide. Was it one step for man, one step for a man? $2 million for the construction of a kelp and shellfish nursery in Maine. 1.5 million to encourage video gaming in New York. We might be better off spending 1.5 million to discourage kids from make, playing video games. Well, I mean, I'm gonna have to disagree there, but you don't need taxpayer funds, but uh, kids playing video games is good. All their uh, hand-eye coordination stuff. There's even been studies showing that, you know, if surgeons play video games, they're way more accurate with the surgeries that they perform. $388,000 for Columbia University. Be giving a rich university that has $13 billion any money. $249,000 for the Baltimore Symphony. Give money to all the symphonies and we'd make them part of government. Yep. And look, I'm not going to play an 11 minute video here, but somebody did this highlight for us. Thank you, Colin Rugg. Uh, 20,000 to drag shows in Ecuador. $30,000 to study the secret language of 
Butchers in Paris. $750,000 for the New York Metropolitan Opera Fire Alarm. $350,000 to develop AI smart toilets. $660,000 to study the impact that COVID had on Russian women. Shut it down. Shut it all down. They are stealing your money. Does it make sense now why they came so hard for Donald Trump and Elon Musk? There was something that they said over and over again. Do you remember what it is that they said? Donald Trump is a threat to our democracy. No, 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 no. The threat to democracy? Nope. The threat to bureaucracy. And he's so spot on there. I think the movie Ghostbusters perfectly encapsulated the mindset of the people who work for the government. Personally, I like the university. They gave us money and facilities. We didn't have to produce anything. You've never been out of college. You don't know what it's like out there. I've worked in the private sector. They expect results. That's why they're so scared. Because if they had to go out into the real world, then they would have to produce results. But when you work for the government, the money continues to come in and you have no incentive to get results. You get paid either way. Which is why I mentioned how we spend here in Australia $30 billion each year on Indigenous affairs and there is nothing to show for it. Where does that money go? That is why you, you the Australian people, should be rooting for this to succeed, to hyper-succeed, to over-succeed, to show to the world what it is that governments do, which is just steal your money. And that's it. And then you can show it to your sceptical friends and family who think, oh, no, we need a government, we need government, yes, Labor and Liberal, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 this, this is a shining light on the hill. Let's white pill this into existence. Let's white pill this for success. Come on. Godspeed, Vivek. Godspeed, Elon. All right, mate, thanks very much for checking out the channel and this video, so... Follow me up there. Do all the things down there. Are we done? No, we're not done.